Hello friends, welcome back. Here in this lesson, you're going to learn about activation function. What they are, why do we need them, and also different types of activation functions. So here we go. So what basically this activation function means? Activation function is a mathematical function that introduces the nonlinearity into the neural network's output. And it is typically applied to the weighted sum of the input of the neurons and it determines the output, which means that our neuron will be activated or not activated will be totally dependent upon the activation function. So let us revisit once again. So basically the purpose of activation function is to add the nonlinearity so that it can learn and recognize the complex pattern from the data and build our neural network in such a way that it can predict the future values. Okay. Now, without activation function, the neural network will be simply a linear equation okay linear combination of input values so it will going to hinder the learning ability of the neural network so having the activation function is very much required now you might be thinking i am taking this term again and again what this linear and non-linearity what basically it means okay let us understand in the mathematical context first see in the case of linear the the linear relationship between two variables which means if something happened to variable a suppose in case it will going to happen something with the variable b okay if you're going to change the value of a the value of bb also affected okay and this kind of relationship can be you know described in a straight line in a graph and here we have the mathematical equation for it y equal to mx plus b so here y is the intercept and the m is the slope of the line okay this is the case of the linear relationship now what will happen if we're going to have the nonlinearity into our data see just understand it is just opposite of linear here we don't have any straight line here it is not dependent on any other variables value okay so it means there will be no single you know uh mathematical equation will be there there might be you know some different mathematical equation will be used for different kind of shapes shapes could be curves it could be exponential graph it could be a, a, a oscillator graph or it could be a decay graph of anything okay so which means this having this nonlinearity is a very important thing for building a neural network okay now let us just understand that why we do we need them okay now just take us a real world example like if you want to build a object detection or speech recognition or language processing kind of application here it involves a highly nonlinear patterns okay and if you're just going to use the linear functions it will not going to help you out okay in order to make your robust neural network in order to work perfectly you need to introduce this, this nonlinear functions in, into this in the process of learning okay now this is the one only one no, this is not only one thing okay we could have some other things as well like if you're going to put a activation function as linear okay and then its derivative will be also linear which causes a cost and gradient flow okay and this can lead to be having a vanishing grading problem where the the gradient function will be small okay and it's going to hinder the learning process which means overall this activation function is very much important while creating or you can say while building the neural network okay so now you may understand what exactly this activation function is and why do we need them now let us understand the different types of activation function which we have so we have sigmoid activation function then we have hyperbolic tenor activation function then we have rectified linear unit activation function in which in short we say relu r-e-l-u okay and then we also have uh, leaky relu which is uh, the variant of relu activation function only okay so in the case of relu we're just going to have the value between 0 and 1 and rest negative value will be ignored but in the case of leaky relu we're going to have some negative value as well we're going to multiply with the alpha value we're going to discuss each and everything that how it looks like how you can represent it mathematically and how to even you know uh, use them using libraries like numpy and the tensorflow we, we're going to perform this all those things okay in our upcoming videos 
okay and then we also have the softmax activation function which is basically used in multi-class kind of data sets the sigmoid is used for you know the binary classification see we have multiple activation function but we can use this activation function regarding what kind of data set you have what is your problem okay then then you will be able to choose those activation function and it will going to make a neural network more accurate more predictable because it is something which is required when you are building a neural network it is something which is required during the training process of that neural network so that it can predict a right value so this is all about activation function in upcoming lessons we're going to learn how to implement them till then keep learning keep exploring and stay motivated see you soon